When most people think of working in the field of healthcare, they think of being a doctor or a nurse, but there are many more career options. I'm Rebecca Lewis, professor and chair of the Foundations of Health program at Holyoke Community College. Foundations of Health was created by HCC to introduce students to the variety of choices available, such as community health worker, direct care worker, medical billing and coding, health administration, public health, and more. Like a lot of people, I came to HCC wanting to be a nurse. Through Foundations of Health, I ended up exploring many different fields, and the community health worker option immediately caught my eye. Community health workers educate people in their own community and help them access the resources they need. The idea of working with people one-on-one -on -one and helping to strengthen my community was really appealing to me. My name is Elmer Pagan. I'm a community health worker with Holyoke Medical Center. My role here is pretty uh, important. You know, I'm part of a care team that, you know, incorporates nurses and, uh, you know, we work together helping patients, you know, reach health and well-being. I typically work with high-risk uh, and underserved populations. We do a lot of prevention work. The one thing that is satisfying is uh, to see the end result, you know, to see the actual client or patient, you know, reach their goals and follow their care plan and just, you know, and, and just manage their condition well. Sherilyn Roberts, Registered Nurse Manager of Community Navigation at Holyoke Medical Center. One of the big things that they've impacted is in our particular community in Holyoke, we have a very high rate of asthma in uh, children. So one of the things we focused on with our community health workers is allow them to get out into the community to partner with families and children and get access to their homes to help them identify triggers in their home. So this is something they normally wouldn't let a physician do or a nurse or a social worker, but a community health worker who they see as one of their peers, they embrace that and they allow them to come into their home and walk through their home and do a lengthy evaluation of what kinds of things, carpets, maybe you have mold, maybe there's things going on in your home, people are smoking next door. Healthcare costs in the United States are higher than in most other developed nations, but access to healthcare is not evenly distributed. Poverty and language barriers are two common obstacles that prevent people from getting and staying healthy. Often, people wait until their situation is critical and end up going to the emergency room for services. We need advocates inside our communities to educate and inform people and connect them to the services they need before they end up in the hospital. I've been a nurse now for 23 years. I actually graduated from HCC with my first degree. So I've come a long way and I understand um, that hospitals are not the ones to answer all the problems related to each individual. We have to look outside our doors, get into the community, find out what really matters to the patient. So to me, it's really rewarding when I find out what matters to the patient and I can help them solve their problem. Others should consider this field because it is totally expanding. Being a community health worker is truly satisfying. It's also a great way to start your career. You can take more classes and earn an associate's degree, then transfer to a four-year college and continue to advance. There are so many options and you can do it all at your own pace. If you're interested in becoming a community health worker or learning more about the many careers available in the field of healthcare, getting started is easier than you think. Come to one of our special information sessions or schedule an appointment with one of our admissions counselors. I hope to see you on campus soon.